Well, here in Michigan, the ongoing pandemic may have changed where consumers go to get a drink as many bars and restaurants remain closed this week, but it has not changed what they are buying. 1390 side reporter Leona Dunn explains how liquor sales are going across West Michigan. Party World, a family locally owned liquor store off Alpine, says they've seen an increase in customers over the last three weeks due to state restrictions on restaurants and bars. The store manager, Dave Castor, tells us about the change. The bars being closed, we notice we're busier, especially on the weekends. Um, people still want to have their spirits and, and and I think even a little bit more, we need a little something else to raise our spirits. Although in-store and online sales have skyrocketed, Nielsen retail analysts predict overall this year the alcohol industry lost money. Data cites the loss of restaurant and bar sales where people would pay much more for a smaller amount of alcohol compared to the 2020 trend of consumers stockpiling bottles and mixing their own drinks. Even with implemented social zones and to-go cocktail services, analysts say nationally restaurants aren't making the 20 to 25 percent or more revenue that liquor sales usually help them with. We're feeling bad for our friends in the industry, though. We have a lot of friends in the restaurant and bar industry, and we're feeling their pain right now. The industry itself hasn't seen much change elsewhere. Local businesses say hard liquor brands like Cognac and French liquors are more expensive due to slowed European production caused by the pandemic. But overall, beer and wine sales are staying steady as more are being purchased in bulk. The holidays bringing a smaller crowd back into this local business. Well, yeah, well, Saturdays is always a uh, small business Saturdays for all of us. Caster told us the store will probably keep curbside even after the pandemic, which was the biggest change they've had to make during this new normal. Right now, they are gearing up for what could be the biggest night in sales of the year. Now, some local bar and restaurant owners did tell me that they are awaiting to see what happens for New Year's because that is another big day in sales for them. But with coronavirus cases rising and the executive order possibly being extended next week, their hope is dwindling, but it is alive. Leona Dunn, 13, on your side.